Hi guys, it's me, Chewing Fruit Gum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be making a simple maze game in Scratch. Let's begin. To start off, we're going to create a new project. Then we're going to delete the Scratch Cat. We're going to make a new sprite and call it Player. Now we can start drawing our player. So my player is just going to be a plain blue circle. Make sure your player is centered with this line right there. There you go, and then you can position your player to go to 0, 0 for now. So now we're going to code a bit of our player sprite. So do one green fly click, show, go to front layer, and switch costume to 1. Now that we have our player script, we're going to start coding some player movement. So do one right arrow key press, then point in direction 90, move 10 steps. One left arrow key press, point in direction minus 90, move 10 steps. One key up arrow pressed, point in direction 0, move 10 steps. One key down arrow pressed. Point in direction 180, move forward 10 steps. Now if we test this out, we got some nice player movement. Now let's start drawing our mazes. Now we're going to make a new sprite and call it level. And we can start drawing our mazes. So I'm going to get a dark blue color. And start drawing a maze. Now that we are done drawing our maze, we can start coding it. So do one green fly click, show, go to front layer, and switch costume to one. Now I'm going to fix some things in the player sprite. So the player, we should probably make him a bit of a smaller size. So we're going to change the size of our player to 70. Now we're going to make sure our player starts off in the top left corner. So we're going to do one green play click, go to minus 189 to y 149. Now our player starts there. We have one problem still. The player goes through the wall. This will not make it much of a challenging maze game if our player can go right through the wall. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. This is a really simple problem to fix. Do one green play click, forever, if then click this color right here, then select this button, and click the color for your wall to get the exact color. And then, move minus 10 steps. Now if we test this out, this does not allow our player to get through the wall. This is exactly what we want. Now I need to create a place for my player to try and get to. So I'm going to make a new sprite and call it circle. Then I'm going to draw a green circle. And position the circle right here. This is where I want my player to try and get to. So I'm going to code one green flag, click. Show. Go to front layer and switch costume to one. Then I'm going to do one green flag, click. Forever. If. Touching player, then broadcast next level. Then we can go into the level sprite, do an IRC next level, next costume, and then we can draw another costume for a next level. 
Now I'm just gonna draw another costume from the next level. Now that we have our second level, there are a couple other things you have to edit. So right here, where it says broadcast next level, it forever broadcasts next level, but we need to stop the script after it does that. And then when I receive next level, we want our player to reposition at the top. So right here, duplicate this, but do when I receive next level, go to minus 189, 149. Now let's test it out. There, now it switches to the next costume. Right now, there we go, we switch to the next level. This is exactly what we want. You can keep adding level after level and keep making your game more and more challenging. If you'd like to have a level variable to tell you what level you are on and have a you win screen at the end, I'll show you exactly how to so do that. So if you'd like to find out what level you're on, just make a variable and call it level. Then code when green flag click, set level to 1. Then right here, change level by 1. Now if we test this out, and we touch the green circle, let's see if our level changes. There, it does. Now, I'll show you how to make a U-Win screen. So now, to make a U-Win screen, make a new sprite, and call it End. Then, just draw something like this, and title it U-Win. Then code, one green flag clicked, hide, go to back layer. Then pretend your maze has two levels, but because you start on level one, level three would be your last level. So you'd code, one green flag clicked, forever, if level equals three, then Show, go to front layer, and switch costume to one. Now let's try playing our maze game. There, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and follow my Scratch account. I'm Chewing Fruit Gum. Bye.